Well, Marshall Colt, nice to see you. Good to see you, Bobby. You did North Dallas 40, and of course that was a, well, rather infamous uh, movie with some segments of Dallas, and, uh, but most people thought it was a real trip, a lot of fun. Yeah, we, uh, we had a good time making it. The fellow that I had to portray was named Art Hartman, who was a very straight rookie quarterback, and uh, the, uh, the football players that we had working on the picture sometimes forgot who was the actor and who was the, the character and started heaping abuse upon me. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, did, you pattern, <laughs> did you pattern that character after Roger Staubach or who? No, it was a figment of my imagination. There was no, no particular character that, that uh, you know, I modeled it after. I guess you could name several athletes, but a lot of people did say, oh, well, there they are portraying Roger. Oh. And uh, the real Roger fans, uh, you know, took exception to it, or some oh. of them. I, I think Art Hartman was, was, was different than what I know of Roger Staubach. I personally didn't, you know, draw on Roger myself. Well, this character you're playing now uh, with Jim Arness, uh, what kind of a guy is he? Harry Gates is very volatile. He's very intense. He's uh, stubborn sometimes. He's got his own way of doing things, and he's paired with a fellow named Jim McLean, who has been off the, the police force for 15 years. And uh, the two of them don't get along too well all the time because it's the old school versus the new school, uh, subjective versus uh, objective way of doing things. They learn from each other because uh, uh, they have to, they should. There's mutual respect between the two of them. But the conflict makes for good, good theater and good television, I think. Were a lot of people tested for this role, Marshall? I don't have the slightest idea. <laughs> no, I was curious because uh, to... Uh, I want to... <laughs> <laughs> yes, I the don't winner know. is. I don't know. But uh, obviously, uh, they would need someone, uh, you know, a pretty good size to play opposite. Oh, that was a consideration. So that had to be. And you couldn't have Mutt and Jeff there. Right. That wouldn't look too good. Right. Um, what is it like working with Jim Arness? It's a ball, as a matter of fact. Uh, the hours are a little long because we, we're under you know, a tight schedule and we have to work long hours in order to get get the shows out. It's on a seven-day schedule for each hour of television. But he's such a nice guy and so down-to-earth and so good to me. He knows what it must be like to you know, be starting something like this. And so uh, we get along very well, and uh, he's a pleasure to work with. Is he aloof, as some people have described him? Not to me. We, we do a lot of joking around. He's a funny guy, Is which, he really? which I found rather surprising. I didn't think that he'd have the great sense of humor that he has, but in fact, that sometimes is a problem. We will be doing a, a scene, and he will do something, and it may be a serious scene, and, and I, I, I can't stop laughing. You know. But we, we, we just take it again until we get it right. Do you sense any nervousness on his part? Because although Gunsmoke has been in uh, reruns, you know, and uh -huh. will be forever and ever, is he a little worried or concerned of, that this ser series will take off? No, he's, he's a, the old pro. He's so cool. He's really cool. He just walks in and, and we work on the scene with the director. and we, we, He cares. He cares a, a lot about the show. And so we try to make it realistic and, and keep the conflict between the two characters, which is a lot of, of uh, the character that he plays. Jim McClain cares about... about uh, the police work. No, he's not uh, worried at all. Shouldn't be either. We got a good show. You're not worried? No. No, in fact, I'm trying to find out how I'm going to work this schedule without dropping dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, seven days a week. And uh, for how many weeks without any break? Well, no, it's not. It's actually five days a week. But uh, it's, so we'll shoot, say, Monday through Friday and then the Monday and Tuesday of the next week. But it's from getting up at 5 o'clock in the morning and working till 8 o'clock at night. And the work is, is, is emotionally draining work. Uh, uh, you have to learn to pace yourself. And so there's only real time to, uh, to come home, have something to eat, and go to bed and get up and do it again and try to maintain consistency without 
losing, losing energy and things like that. You wanted to be in the news business. Is that what you originally wanted to do? Right. I, uh, when I got out of the Navy, I was uh, writing and uh, studied broadcasting in graduate school and was a news junkie, still am to some degree, and wanted to write news for television. Uh, but then I was making a little pocket change uh, in the entertainment business and f gradually fell in love with the theater. I had, I had not seen any theater at all when I grew up as a, as a kid in New Orleans. So the first theater that I saw was in San Francisco. And it just got me. Something in your genes that says <laughs> you were it. <laughs> G-E-N-E-S. <laughs> <laughs> Something Stop in your it. heritage. <laughs> you, are, you are a caution, as some people would say. Something. <laughs> I don't know whether I want to go. Pardon me while I cry. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm, I'm going to go through with it. I'm going to go on through with it. Please don't. In the news <laughs> business, people work, you know, ungodly hours, around the clock and so forth. Something in your heritage, Marshall, mm -hmm. <laughs> that has you destined to work around the clock. Well, you get good experience in the Navy because being called up at uh, midnight to, to drive the ship from midnight to four in the morning, you learn to put up with some strange hours. So this is not really that new, I know. Uh, and also, from the television that I've done before, you, you know that when you're not working, you should Take it easy and save it for when it really counts. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever that may be. Whatever hour of the day or night. Right. You know, you may, th this may be the first interview I've ever done that's going to get me hauled on the carpet, you know. They're going to say, hey, what are, you, what are you on out there? Anyway, Marshall, nice to see you. Good luck with the show. Good to see you. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>